All right, guys, seriously, there's going to be so much information in this video, so I just want to hop right into it. Uh, don't forget, if you have any questions, comment below right now and let me know any questions you have about coins, and I will do my best to get to your question. It might take a couple days, but I will get to your question. So let's just hop right into it. All right, so we're going to look at 15, you know, fairly common dated coins that could be worth big money that could be hiding in your pocket change. At least some of these coins could be hiding in your pocket change, but... First, we're going to look at a 1977 quarter. All right, so this quarter is a fairly common dated quarter, and this coin is a very common date. It's an example of a very common date that could be in your pocket change every day or even in coin rolls from the bank. Now, what makes this coin special is that it was struck on a 40% silver planchet. So not a 90% silver, but a 40% silver planchet. So let me explain the difference. 1964 and before are going to be 90% quarters. But in 1976, this quarter with the S mint mark, they made some of these with the S mint mark as 40% silver quarters. So just because you have this quarter doesn't mean that it's silver. You gotta look for the S mint mark. These are gonna be the 40% silver. Now, if we go back to this 1977 quarter, how in the world did this quarter become a silver quarter when it was not supposed to be silver? Well, this quarter was in 1977, and this quarter is in 1976, so that means that this quarter was struck on what this quarter was supposed to be struck on, if that's not too confusing for you. So how in the world do you tell the difference if the quarter is silver or not? Well, first, uh, you can weigh the coin, so that's a good thing. This coin here weighs 5.7 grams. 5.7 grams. All right, so a regular quarter weighs 5.67 grams. That is how much the quarter is supposed to weigh, 1977, 5.67 grams. However, that 40% quarter weighs 5.75 grams. That's how much those quarters weigh. So always keep that in mind. This quarter sold for over $4,900, so nearly a $5,000 coin. All right, so this is a very famous coin to look for. You can definitely always find 1969 pennies S mint mark, but what you want to look for is the doubling. You can see the doubling on this is very uh, noticeable extreme. So if you guys can't see it from a distance, you definitely want to get you a USB coin microscope. I have those available on the website couchcollectibles.com. You can see the phrasing God we trust, the word liberty, as well as the date 1969 itself is doubled. Now this coin here sold for over $86,000. 86,000 because of that doubling and because of its grade. You see here on the coin slab, it's graded by PCGS at a mint state 63 red. So that is what's gonna give it value. So keep in mind, all the coins that I'm showing you in pretty much all my videos, the value is always gonna be dependent on the condition a lot of the times. So the higher the grade, typically the more money the coin is going to sell for. Now if you have this 1969S double die and it's not in as good of condition, it's still going to sell for some good money, just maybe not $86,000. So it really just depends on how high the grade is, but still, even a 1969S double die in bad condition is still gonna sell for some good money. All right, so let's move on to the 1992. Now, this is a very famous penny as well. I'll try my best to explain this. I wanted to recap a couple of coins that I've covered in the past because a lot of people get confused and have questions in the comments, so I wanna clear some things up. Now, this 1992 here has got a close AM. Now, you can find 1992 pennies in your pocket change all day long, but what you wanna look for is this close AM here on the reverse, the A and the M of the word America. So that is what is going to give it its value. So here's an example of a close AM and a wide AM. We got the wide AM here separated up top, not touching. And then here on the bottom, we have the close AM. So you can really see the big difference there between the top and the bottom image. Now, if we go back to this coin, the 1992 close AM. Now this coin is graded at a mint state 64 red brown. So again, if you find one of these coins and it's even in better condition, then you never know. You could get more money out of it depending when you sell the coin and the demand for them. Now this penny sold for over $20,000. 
$20,000. Now, just to give you a perspective on some different coin prices, just like the 1969S, if you look at your 1995 pennies, you wanna look for a double die obverse. Now, you can't see it here from a distance on this coin, right? But if we zoom in here, you can see the lettering is doubled, the uh, word liberty there is doubled, always be on the lookout for that that is so simple to look for guys you can find 1995s all day get a box of pennies from your bank 25 bucks search through them separate all the different dates and then bam just put them underneath the microscope and start searching all those 1995s along with these other dates that i'm going to show you you can see that doubling there here on this image and this coin sold for over 3800 dollars $3,800, but to kind of give you a perspective, here is the same exact coin that is graded at about uncirculated 58. It's got that doubling, however, this coin only sold for a little over $100. So we go from a $100 coin to over a $3,000 coin because of that grade. That's how important that grade is. And again, this 1995 is graded at a Mint State 69 red, so nearly a perfect graded coin. Mint State 70 is uh, the only higher grade than that so let's keep on rocking guys now uh, let's move on to this dime this is a 1968 dime now in 1968 these coins were not supposed to be silver so here on the left is an example of a 1964 silver dime here on the right is an example of a 1965 clad dime it's not silver at all and then you can see here on the left the silver dime weighs 2.5 grams the non-silver weighs 2.268 grams so if we go back to this 1968 uh, it is struck on a 90 percent silver planchet it does weigh 2.5 grams like the silver dimes are supposed to so this is just simple to look for you can just Put your coins on a scale if you happen to come across one and they kind of look silver to you. I have coin scales available on couchcollectibles.com as well. This dime sold for over $5,700, a $5,000 dime. All right, so if we move to a little bit modern coins, we have a 2004. I know I've covered this in the past, but there's been a ton of new people that have subscribed to the channel, so I definitely want you guys to see this one. 2004, I mean, how much easier does it get? You can find these all day day from coin rolls from the bank or in your pocket change 2004 quarters but what you want to look for is this all right so this is three quarters here so on the middle one you could see that there is no extra leaf here but here on the left we got the high leaf, and then here on the right, we have a low leaf. So that is an extra low leaf there, an extra high leaf here, and then we got no leaf. So typically, the middle one here is what you're gonna find. That's how it's supposed to be, but the more rare ones are going to be with that extra leaf, high leaf, low leaf. So here's that Wisconsin quarter from 2004. It is graded at a mint state 67, so it's in very good condition. It's got that extra leaf, the high leaf, and this quarter sold for over $2,000. So a nice, nice profit there for someone who uh, probably came across this quarter maybe in a roll of coins. So very nice $2,000 quarter. Now, 2009 quarter, again, such a common coin that you can look for. Now it is the District of Columbia quarter here on the reverse featuring Duke Ellington sitting next to a piano. And what makes this coin valuable? It's got a double die reverse. And here's that example. You can see the doubling here on the lettering of his last name, Ellington, and also on the keyboard. So you can always, always, always look for this. There's actually a few different types of these out there. So always look for that doubling on that quarter there by his hands. So this quarter here sold for over $3,000, something to just always look for. But again, here's a, an example of a coin grading scale. And you can see here on the left, AG3 means about good three. That's very, very low on the scale. And then we got MS69, which is Mint State 69. And the Mint State coins are really going to be the more valuable ones because they are in better condition. So always keep that in mind. Uh, let's move on to the 1943 penny. So we know in 1943, we're supposed to have the steel penny. This is what they produced in 1943. They did not produce any copper pennies. Well, they at least were not supposed to produce any copper pennies or any other penny besides the steel penny in 1943. And that was only a one year thing, okay? 
but this penny here sold for over two hundred thousand dollars because it's the 1943 penny but it was struck on a bronze planchet so this is going to be simple to look for all you got to do is look for a copper or a bronze penny that has the date 1943 and then after that then you can send it to a grading company and get the coin authenticated now i know a lot of people ask how to sell coins how to get them authenticated i do have coin grading videos and i have a video of how to sell coins be sure to go check that out but uh pretty much to sum it up i think ebay is probably going to be your best option in most cases and you can go to pcgs.com if you would like to get your coins graded so feel free to do that but this coin is a two hundred thousand dollar coin now here in 1944 they were supposed to go back to the copper pennies and no longer produce steel pennies however this is a 1944 penny that was struck on a zinc coated steel planchet so that's what it's going to give it all of its value these types of errors right here they really don't matter what condition well i guess condition always matters but what i mean is that even in bad condition these coins are going to sell for a lot of money but again the higher the grade the prices of these coins will skyrocket but this coin here sold for over thirty-seven thousand dollars because of that mint error now the famous 1955 penny this is so simple to look for uh it's just like any other penny you're searching you're gonna put it underneath the scope when you find a 1955 penny and bam if you got a double die you got one if you don't you don't now this is some extreme doubling taking place here you can see that the whole lettering and the date 1955 is doubled there and this coin sold for over $35,000 35,000 now here is a pretty cool penny this is a 1959 now this is going to be the cheapest coin of this video i guess you could say this coin sold for a little over 500 dollars nearly a 600 dollar coin but it's because it's been double struck and rotated in collar so you can see here the double strike taking place the design of lincoln is on there twice and that design that was double struck is rotated so you kind of see how the date 1959 is over on the left side and then here liberty going through his forehead so that is what that error is and then we see that again here on the reverse of the coin like i said this coin sold for nearly six hundred dollars sticking with the pennies now 1983 now i've explained this in a lot of my 1983 penny videos and 1982 penny videos so definitely definitely check those out for like a further in-depth uh, explanation of that this is a 1983 penny looks like a normal penny however all you have to do with these pennies is weigh them like I said you want to get that coin scale once you weigh it if it does weigh 3.1 grams then you might be in for some big money because these coins are actually supposed to weigh 2.5 grams however this was struck on a copper planchet and as you guys may know or maybe you don't know in 1982 that was the transitional year from copper to zinc and i explained that in a different weights in those 1982 and 1983 penny videos that you can find here on my channel or you can just type in 1982 penny couch collectibles and you can find those videos here on youtube as well now this coin sold for over twenty three thousand dollars that's why it's important to weigh your 1983 pennies a twenty thousand dollar coin it's graded at a mint state 62 red brown now of course typically you're not going to find a proof coin in your pocket change i have found them in coin rolls and in pocket change but it's not something that happens every day you know it's a uh, pretty rare to happen sometimes but this is a 1998 s mint mark proof penny so i know a lot of you guys that are new what's the difference between a proof and a business strike well here's kind of an example of just showing you guys the visual difference the proof here on the left is going to be a much more detailed coin and it's going to have that shiny mirror like finish but the business strike here on the right those are the coins that you're typically going to find in your everyday pocket change but we're just gonna show you this one because it's a really cool error. This is a 1998S proof penny that's been double struck and rotated in collar. Similar to that other penny we looked at, you can see the date here twice, you see the word Liberty twice, and it's not rotated as much as the other penny was. But you can also see the phrasing God we trust twice underneath that so that is a really cool error now those are pretty uh you know obvious you wouldn't really need a microscope to see something like this this is pretty obvious we see that there here on the reverse and again this coin sold for over four thousand dollars four thousand bucks
Now, this is pretty cool here. These are something that you can literally go to the bank and get rolls and rolls of because they have so many of them. Sacagawea dollars and presidential dollars. So this coin is supposed to look like this with the front and back, the obverse and reverse of the coin. However, we got this reverse and we got this obverse of the Washington quarter. So that is very interesting. It is muled with a 25 cent coin and a dollar coin. So that is really, really awesome. This coin sold for over $88,000. So that is a huge, huge price for those. And we also have another dollar coin here. This is a presidential dollar coin from a distance. Doesn't look like much. However, it's been triple struck, broad struck, and it's missing the edge lettering. So we can see that triple strike and broad strike taking place here on this John Adams presidential dollar it is fairly obvious type of error but hey it's always something to look for on your dollar coins like if you get bored and want to search through a bunch of dollar coins the bank literally has tons of them at least my bank always does and here is an example of the missing edge lettering so here's the edge lettering you see the date 2007 D and you see the other ones are missing so uh, that's something to always look for on your presidential dollar coins. Now this coin here sold for over $1,300, $1,300. Seriously, leave a comment below right now and until tomorrow, I will see you on the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles and this is where I disappear.